Hi, I'm Robin Glick. I'm here with the gravity pick for you. I've got joining me today Chris Machane. My gravity pick for today is going to be all about your core. We're going to hit your core from the front, from the sides, from the back. We're going to start off this gravity pick with isometric work. So I'm going to have Chris come down right into plank position. So Chris, come on down into plank. Now, let me just tell you real quick, in case you're working with somebody who's not quite as strong as Chris is, obviously, how to modify this. Chris, do me a favor and go kneeling first to a modified version. So I'd start off with this, with the glide board closed in a shorter lever position like Chris is now, a nice neutral body position. But for this workout, I'm going to go ahead and bring Chris on up. So remember, any modifications to this, you can start off short lever, glide board closed, all right? Now what we're going to do is just open up that glide board a little bit. Chris, come forward onto your toes. And I'm going to have Chris stay right here for one minute. One minute, staying just in prone plank. One of the options I have to do to intensify this, Chris, can I take it a little bit more intense for you? Let's do it. All right, here's what we're going to do with Chris. I'm going to actually have him bring his elbows forward. Now he's lengthening all these anterior core muscles right here in his body, really having to grip a lot more, brace a lot more. Also, oh, changing that shoulder lever, so this places a lot more load onto the shoulder girdle itself. Again, a lot more intense. Can we stay there 30 more seconds? You think you got 30 in you, Chris? Now, what could I do to intensify this even more? We talked about how to modify it. I could ask Chris to lift up one leg. You want to try it? See if we can do that. So you saw I kind of floated back. His body's smart. Let's stay there for 15 seconds or thereabouts, you know, just giving you some variations to this. And then switch to the other leg, Chris. Excellent. So this is prone plank, staying pretty static, focusing on a, a specific isometric position. Long lever here with Chris, shorter lever with my beginners. Excellent. Come on down. What I'm going to have Chris do from there, take a little break for a second, and then we're going to switch over into a side plank position. So Chris is going to come up onto the side. That elbow is going to sit right underneath the shoulder. But because Chris is going to end up opening the glide board, we'll start with the elbow cheated forward like this so that when he opens the glide board, the elbow will be in a straight line. Remember, the modification would be short lever, glide board closed, long lever, glide board closed, now to where Chris is going. Long lever, glide board open. Beautiful. Now I need to get up on this because what I want to do is look at a lot of different lines here. And if I'm stages from that perspective, I can't see what's going on in the rest of his body. So I want to see his ear straight down the midline of his shoulder. So just bring your neck back, keep your chin right down the center of your chest. That's beautiful. Ear to shoulder, shoulder to hip, hip to ankle. Now again, some modification options I have on this. I could have Chris bring his left foot, his top leg forward, put it down. That gives him more stability, wider base of support. Or I could have Chris take it back up and actually float it in the air. Now one of the things we've started playing with lately, Chris, you want to go for a little bit more intensity on this? Or is that enough? All right. Take that left leg up and bring it forward, but keep it in the air. Now hold. Stay there. Ooh. Four, three, two, and one. Set it down. Let's switch to the other side. It's really, really intense. Now Chris is super strong, so he made that look easy. But it's just a variation that I've started playing with with some of my stronger clients to, to play with their arm positioning and their leg positioning. Later on, we're going to come back to the side plank. And instead of having Chris do things with his legs, I'll have him do some stuff with his arm. But right now, first, you can, see, you can even see how strong Chris is. And there's a little bit of shoulder instability. You see how the glide board's shaking up and down, up and down. So first, just by drawing his attention to that, he's already getting more stability. Chin coming forward. I'm going to stand up so I can see a variety of lines on Chris. Bring your head back just a tad. Beautiful. Chin forward just a little bit. Excellent. So I meant down, Chris. That was my bad cue. So bring your shoulder. Yeah, right there. Perfect. Now, since we did it on the other side, we've got to do it over here. Lift that right leg up. Bring it forward just a hair. Stay there. and brace yourself. Hold for a moment. Just hold. Beautiful, Chris. Hold it and bring it all down. Good job. All right. So since we've hit lateral and anterior from an isometric, let's go ahead and look at some side or some extent, extension work isometrically too. So what I'm going to have Chris do here is just find a position on the glide board coming up and just holding a nice extended body position. So let's go right there, finishing our isom first set of isometrics. And I tell you, the, I love working the core, just really using the glide board as a movable floor. So now Chris is coming up to that nice extension. I'm going to check his head position, bring it forward just a little bit, always looking at that neutral cervical spine. He's got real nice extension. Chris, I want you to think about growing. So stay right where you are, but lengthening. Yeah, beautiful. Come forward on your toes. Try that a little bit. Now, 
One of the variations, I'm not going to do this right now because we didn't do it in any of the other positions, but just food for thought for you is to add rotation into this, bringing one arm up or the other arm. I love doing that too, but for right now, we're going to just hold an isometric position, find his edge, and make him stay there for just a little while. How's that feel, Chris? Okay. Beautiful. You breathe in, pulling that air into those lungs, holding his body nice, strong, and stable. So we hit anterior aspect, lateral aspect, posterior aspect of his core. Then we're going to do some, the same thing, working eccentrically and concentrically. Excellent. Take a break. Beautiful. So now I'm going to go ahead and hook up the pulley to the top of the glide board. We'll go with about a level three or four, Chris, just to get this started. And I'm going to put the uh, pulley pin placement down on two. What I'm going to have you do is get in that upright supine position just for some simple pullover crunches and some exercises like that. So let's go ahead and take both of the handles. Make sure that your head's supported. Good. Reach back behind you here. Beautiful. Feet coming up onto the glide board for right now. And then just reach behind. And let's do more of like a boxer's crunch to get started with your trunk flexion. Yeah, bring your thumbs just right by your chin or by your forehead, whatever you prefer, and just focus on drawing your elbows in. So we're just starting with a short lever because now we're moving more into the abdominal wall as a trunk flexor, as you know. So Chris is just exhaling and drawing in. It's beautiful. Again, we have that tendency when I watch a lot of people working on the GTS to always start with the arms back behind you. It's also a wonderful exercise. We'll go there in a minute. But this really gets Chris to focus just on ribs to pelvis. Do a couple more just like that, Chris. On the next one, hold your trunk flexion. Stay there. Keep breathing. Lift your feet up off the glide board this time. Now, don't change your upper torso if you can help it. Really brace with your upper portion and draw your pelvis toward your rib cage. Yes, beautiful, Chris, and back to where you started. So the same concept, the first set, Chris bought his rib cage to his pelvis. Now I've got Chris bringing his pelvis to his rib cage, really focusing on not using the weight of his legs and throwing the legs up, but controlling the action with his abdominal muscle group and lifting that pelvis up into a nice pelvic tilt there. Excellent, Chris, beautiful. Exhaling all together. Beautiful. We're going to do one more set just like this, drawing in, exhaling up. And now what I'm going to have you do, Chris, is combine the two. You want to take a break for a sec? Stretch overhead, lengthen the rectus abdominis, lengthen those muscles. Just take a little break. Right now we're still just staying in the anterior aspect. We're going to bring everything together. Bring your legs back up. Bring your elbows in that nice boxer crunch, bringing everything together. Beautiful. So you can see the pelvis is drawing up and into the ribs. The ribs are drawing down and into the pelvis. He's exhaling quite strong as he comes into that contraction, drawing the wall down as he pulls in. And you can see too, if you're watching Chris here, that he's really focusing on just the area between the pelvis and the rib cage. No wasted movement here. Real control. That's beautiful, Chris. Let's do about three more there. Squeezing in strong. Two more. That's it, buddy. You got it. One more. All the way in and hold. Exhale and come out and just relax. Good. Stretch up. So now we're going to work with a little bit of trunk flexion into rotation. I'm going to stay with short levers. This is working. I want to remind you that you could have done that series with arms overhead, but try that sometimes just to get a difference. It really feels different. It really allows people to really focus their work. So now let's go ahead and come back into that boxer position, but this time go ahead and lengthen your right arm over your head. And now let's draw, not really focusing on your arm, let your arm come from right. Let's come up and flex and then just come across the body for a nice cross body pullover crunch. Beautiful. So he's getting that cross body pullover crunch. Now, what we're going to do real quick with Chris, might take longer with somebody else, is have him also get the legs working as well. So as you come across, I want you to bring your left leg up toward your right hand and vice versa. So everything's coming on this angle. The hip's drawing into the right side of the rib cage, and the rib cage is drawing into the hip. That's beautiful, Chris. It's excellent. And here's the thing, you know, if you can't, if the GTS is, is free and you're working out with one of your clients, this is what I do. I just run over to the GTS and nail their core. They love it so much. It's such a fantastic way to work the core from all aspects like we're doing here. And then go ahead and go back to using other apparatus if you want or stay with the GTS. The thing I find is once I work my clients out on the GTS for the core, they want to do more and more on the GTS. So it's a great way to introduce them to the GTS. Good. Let's go ahead and switch over to the other side of your body. Beautiful. So shorten this lever over here. The side stays uninvolved. Just do a couple without lifting that leg. Beautiful. Now I wasn't counting because we were talking, so hopefully you know how many you did. Do you have any idea? No. No. All right. You can do it kinesthetically, right? Once it feels about the same. Beautiful. 
beautiful crest. So now you can start to add that leg lift as you come up and across. And really think about drawing the knee a little bit on an oblique angle. Just exhale and draw in and inhale and come back. It's beautiful. So smooth, so controlled as it goes through his trunk flexion with rotation. Nice. So again, I always think about how can I play with lever length? How can I play with body position to increase or decrease the challenge? Let's just do two more there. Then I've got another challenge for you, some of my favorites. All right, let's go ahead and stretch back. Just take a little bit of a break. And now we're gonna, we're gonna combine everything that we've done. So what I'm gonna have you do is go into a crunch with your legs up and tabletop, and we'll start there. So go ahead and come up, legs up, upper torso up. Now, right shoulder to left knee, good, and switch. And now, see if you can bring your knees across that line in. Yeah, beautiful. That's it, couple more, really drawing up and in more than over. So down and in, beautiful. Now, two more like that, and then instead of alternating your legs, see if both legs can come in. Both legs in, but still get the oblique angle. So the upper body's going to one side and then the other, and then the legs are coming up and in. Chris is loving me right now. Just in case you can't tell, Chris is loving me. It's like going, I said yes? No, he loves this man. Awesome, awesome. A couple more. Now what we're going to do after the next rep is come back to the middle. Right down the center, right down the middle, and hold. Now here's where you play with the levers. What I'm going to have Chris do is extend his legs up a little bit. Good. Now hold, brace with your core, extend your arms up overhead. Now lift your torso crunch that same position. Now hold your crunch, don't move. Head and shoulders off. Bring your arms back toward the tower, but don't come out of your crunch. Stay there, four. Stay there, three. Brace strong, hold, two. That's it, Chris, and one. Take a break. Awesome job. Fantastic, fantastic, beautiful. All right, Chris, let's go ahead and come up out of that position. Let's do a little bit of torso rotation. So again, you know, because you're a gravity trainer, I could have Chris go seated. I could have Chris go low kneeling. But since Chris is an expert, I'm going to have him go high kneeling right away. So let's go high kneeling, lateral, or torso rotation. And again, it's just about experience, strength. I want to put the person in the right position for their fitness. This is the right position for Chris, but again, no judgments. So let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath, exhale, and come across the body. Now the other thing I'm going to do with Chris is I'm going to have him do eight reps with the front cable, get that feeling. Then we're going to go eight reps with the back cable, then we're going to do eight reps with both cables, all right? Beautiful. That's it. Good. You can see how Chris is just letting his arms go along for the ride and really driving with those trunk rotators. His pelvis is staying quiet, and you see the rib cage rotating, the upper torso rotating. Is that about eight? It is. Beautiful. Excellent. Let's go ahead and switch to the back. Want me to get you some water, mate? Right <laughs> all right. <laughs> doing great. Doing great. All right. So now Chris is working off the back handle, which means it's going to be starter, harder for him to start, starter for him to heart, harder for him to start, and then easy to finish. So the initial movement of rotation is going to be a little bit more intense, but at the end he won't feel it hardly at all. So how many you got there? Seven. All right. All right, now what I'm going to do is just bring the, back, the front handle back to Chris again. And now we're going to shoot for eight. Our goal is eight here, both of them. I'm going to watch for form. If his quality starts to break down, we stop before eight. If he tops out, I know I need to move him up. So if he can't get full range of motion, anchor in, move your client up the glide board because I want that rotation. Now the great thing about using both of the handles is it's hard at the beginning and it's hard at the end. Is that true, Chris? Yes, sir. Beautiful. What number are you on? Five. Excellent. That's it, beautiful, rotating across the body. Good, look at he's still keeping those long levers, beautiful form on this. Excellent job, you ready to switch sides? Switch Anchor in, let's go ahead and step off, and then we'll go to the other side. So you're gonna just keep that handle and flip around. So Chris has eight reps, hitting the other side. So you can see we're frying. Now you could have absolutely gone back and forth, gone back and forth, side to side. What I'm doing with Chris this time, just, you know, just to work out, what I'm doing this time is staying the entire all three sets on the same side of the body instead of alternating from side to side. Good, rotating. That's excellent. What number are you on? Eight. 
Beautiful. All right, let's switch handles. Good. That's it. Nice deep breath in. Exhaling and drawing across that body. Beautiful. Tall. Real good, Chris. Real good. Real strong. That's it. You notice, too, Chris is really tracking his hands. He's aware of where his hands are. And what that does for Chris is it keeps his entire trunk rotating together, including his cervical spine, instead of leaving his head and rotating his lower body. You ready for both? Here we go. Thank God I've got a client who will count for himself. It's hard to find those. Here we go. So, so Chris, where do you train your clients at? Sporting club. Sporting club in San Diego? Yes. Awesome. Fantastic. That's it. Good, good. Beautiful. Good. There you go. Good. Rotate through. Get that left shoulder around. Draw the left side of the ribcage around to the front. That's it. Awesome. Anchor in and come out. So we're almost done with this gravity pick. What I'm going to do to, to wrap it all up, if you think about where we've been, is we've done isometric flexion. Let's do a little bit of extension work. Actually, I don't even want to take that off. Let's do a little bit of spinal extension work. With movement, I'm going to bring you down one here. Take the pulleys. Will you take that pulley down to pin position number one? Go ahead and, and go to a kneeling position facing the tower. And now what I want you to do is almost like you did in the boxer crunch. Bring your thumbs this time up against your forehead and extend your torso forward like you're going down into a hip hinge. Now extend your back as long as you can. Exhale and just draw straight up. Beautiful. So again, I just want to think through it. You know, we've hit our plank work from anterior, lateral, and posterior. Now we've hit our flexion, anterior, lateral, and posterior. It's beautiful. Good. Nice deep breath in. Exhale. What I want you to think about is as you extend, you grow first. Feel each vertebra lift away from the vertebra down below it. Excellent. A couple more. Very nice. Good. Get those thumbs back by your forehead. Really use your back extensors. Yeah, good, 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 good. Let's just do two more, Chris. Nice. And one more. Great. And go ahead and anchor it and come down. Now, just to close this out, we're going to do one last challenge on his core isometrically. Again, using his trunk, the way, trunk muscles the way it works the most as a stabilizer. I want your feet on the glide board. I want your forearms on the carpet. Now extend out to a plank, and we'll use this to close. So what we're going to do is just lengthen out here. He's back in that prone plank. Now the instability is underneath his feet, which creates a lot of instability to the hip pelvis region, that pelvic lumbar complex. Now go ahead and see if you can pike up just a little bit, and then come right back down. Walk your feet forward. Yeah, beautiful. So you can get a nice range of motion. This throws a lot of load onto the shoulders. So obviously, if anybody had any kind of shoulder instability issues, you wouldn't do that pike up. Now let's combine one more movement in here. Chris, go ahead and stay down. Draw your knees into your rib cage. Just keep your pelvis down. Pelvis down. Draw your knees in. Exhale, press out. And now pike back up. Beautiful. Come back down. All the way down. Knees in toward your rib cage. Flex your back. Come in, 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 in. Come in, in. Beautiful. Exhale and extend. Pike up. Beautiful, and then plank out. And I think Chris's core is fried. What do you think, Chris? Did. did we get your core pretty well there? Yep. Good, all right, go ahead and kneel down, come on in and take a break. Just sit back under your heels into a nice child's pose or just relax, do a little bit of flexion and extension to just release that back. And that's my gravity pick for you, really focused on the core. Again, lots of ways to make that a little bit easier by modifying it, shortening the levers, keeping the glide board closed and a lot of ways to intensify it by going single leg on some of those and stuff like that, length and lever. Chris, good stuff. Awesome job, man. Awesome Thank you. job. So I hope you guys enjoy that gravity pick of the week.